Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is why I've never recommended portion control or counting calories. And uh, so calorie is a unit of measurement of the quantity of energy in a food item. Calories were discovered in the late 1700s. And around that time they said, hey, food is calories, calories is food. And uh, I just have to say that since then, there's been a lot of research. And um, we have a new viewpoint on what, what calories um, are and how important they are. So here's the point. A calorie is just a unit of measurement, just like a mile or a gallon or, um, you know, like an inch. So these are not bad. They're just a unit of measurement. So when you go on a low calorie diet, then you're assuming that calories are bad because you want to restrict the bad stuff. So let's do low calorie. That is not the proper way to think about this. When they've done low calorie, um, research, low calorie diet research, they've discovered that people get healthier when they reduce their calories. But if you get, um, if you look into it a little bit deeper, the truth is what's important is the restriction of the sugar. So low sugar, low glucose, low carbohydrate, diet that's important so when you reduce that you're reducing your your calories so and the that's but that's the secondary um item is reducing the calories so um with the uh reduction of any like when anybody goes on a diet the first thing they do is cut out pop and junk food so there's an article um entitled there's no such thing as a low fat diet which is true because when anybody ever goes on any diet, whether it's the macrobiotic diet, the a low fat diet, uh, the zone diet, the blood type diet, the first thing anybody does is cut out the junk food. Because <laughs> no diet says drink pop. No diet says eat brownies and junk food. So all diets start off as low cal or low carbohydrate low sugar, and then you get reduction of uh, weight, reduction of cholesterol, reduction of um, inflammation and pain. Ideally, these things happen. So when, um, when you're doing portion control or counting calories, um, you're kind of missing the boat because there's just more information. We have more intelligence about this. What you want to do is reduce the carbohydrates and then make sure you're eating adequate amounts of fat and protein. Now, I, I would say... Uh, most people that see me are not eating enough fat and protein for their body. And it doesn't take a lot more to have an adequate amount. So sometimes I have people coming in as new patients and they only eat red meat once a month because somebody told them that it was dangerous or some BS like that. And I say, well, how much would you rather eat? And they say, well, I'd once a week or maybe twice a week. And I say, okay, do that. And then I, you know eat more butter and stuff like so the the total amount of food um when it comes to fat and protein goes up a, a bit and then their total calorie count ends up dropping quite a bit because they're satisfied and they eat less food throughout the day and they have better endurance and they have uh, they can go for six hours between meals and the reason why i'm actually doing this video is because i had a conversation with with a dietitian a few days ago and um we were talking about our, our professions, me being a holistic chiropractor, nutrition-based chiropractor, and she works at a university, and she's in charge of a department you know, within the dietetics uh, school. And she said to me, do you have your patients count calories? And I said, no, because when they eat, they're eating the right foods, their body tells them to stop eating because it's satisfied. And she goes, yeah, satiety. And then she shut her mouth, and she wouldn't say anything after that. And in my mind, I could, re I could read her mind, and she's thinking, oh, right, I know that to be true. But she can't say that. She's got to teach her students to have their patients count calories as opposed to relying on the appetite. So um, let me just repeat it. When you eat enough fat and protein, and then you're going to end up reducing your carbs, reducing your uh, calories, you're going to be satisfied, your body's going to be healthier, you're going to have less inflammation, you're going to be burning ketones, Instead of glucose, ketones burn smooth and clean like natural gas as opposed to 
glucose and sugar burns dirty like dirty diesel in a truck. So, um, so calories are not the end all be all. And never in my 18 years have I had a patient count calories. I've always had them count carbohydrates, bring the carbs down, eat adequate fat and protein. All right, take care.